Today we're going to be looking at Connect City, more importantly Connect City Toll Booth, and much like every other of these videos, your job is to tell me, is this worth a buck? Yes, in this case, it's not quite a buck, it's two dollars, but is it worth a buck? Would you pay two dollars for this item? Um, getting a look up at a look at the package. We've got Connect City, and, and again, this is the toll booth from Connect City. They they had about three or four of these guys, of uh, different, of course. And the idea is that it's a. I'm sure, we'll get into this when we get the op this opened up. But the idea is that um, it's a carry all. It's a kind of a pick up and go activity set. You can open up and then you have a, a little play set. It says fold and go, build your own city. It also does come with a car. It's not quite, it, it's blue, kind of looks like a, my car, but this is, it looks like a, a VW bug. But uh, on the side, fold and go, build your own city. On the back, though, um, shows the other figures in this wave, or the, I guess the other to uh, other toys sets in this set. Um, it says start building your city today with these great car city sets. I think that car better hurry. It looks like he's either he's either gonna slide back into the ocean or nothing. <laughs> he's just gonna fall. He's gonna drive. Off. He's gonna back into oblivion. Kind of like where this uh, construction vehicle is right now. Um, but there is a fire station, there is a toll booth, gas station, uh, construction site, city park, and police station. Um, I think I think when I was there I saw the police station and the construction site. The gas station and the police station look kind of cool as well. Very neat though. So that's packaging on Connect City. We're, we're going to open this up. I'm going to show you the tool toll booth, and uh, again, you guys tell me, is this worth a buck? Stay tuned. And here we have it in all its glory. So what do you think? Would you pay $2 for this? Yeah, okay, there is, there is something inside. Um, but as you can see, this is what it would look like when you're carrying it. Um, there is no snaps or anything to keep it shut. But uh, it's not too bad. It doesn't open up, to, you know, or anything on, on you when you're moving it. Um, they had a handle. Okay, that probably would have helped too. You could, you know, carry it with you. Billy could take it to his friend's house and say, "Look what I got! I got the toll booth." Um, but uh, this is essentially what it would look like when you're carrying it. When you open it, oh, look at look at the delightful little world we got inside. When we open it, and you fold these down. What you have, if I can get this folded down, what you have is a little toll booth. Automatic 40 cents coin or pass, manual only. There we go. Very, very, very cool. Um, it also comes with, because you're probably thinking to yourself, Spot, wait a minute, how is this car possibly going to go through this toll booth? Unless it's a hover car. Um, it actually does come with a... Um, a bridge, I guess, or a ramp, if you want to look at it that way. Um, you get a single piece, a single ramp, which doesn't really connect on its own, but it does also have these clips. When you slide these clips on, this review is just getting, getting better and better each minute, I know. Um, you get something that looks like that. You can put it on as is. There are these little clamps. Oops. There's these little clamps on the sides right here. Um, you can put it on as is, or if you connected both, see how this one's got one as well, you can actually connect two different cities together. And that's, that's, where, that's where all the fun happens, is if you bought several of these, as I dropped the car, you bought several of these, you can actually connect the, the play sets together. I don't actually have several of these, I only have one of these. So for the sake of this video, I'm only going to connect one. Um, so we're actually going to take the clip and you actually just, all you do is sandwich it inside and you've got yourself a little ramp. And it actually just clips down below there. 
So you got yourself a little ramp. Doesn't hold well. If I can get it to actually sit in there, right? It's funny, it, it worked just before I started shooting. There we go. And you've got yourself a little ramp. Now, if I find the car that I dropped, if the, if the passengers are still alive, we've got ourselves the little car. Yeah, it looks like a uh, Volkswagen Bug, all right. Obviously, very large wheels. They spin very, very easily. Obviously, it rolls very well. You know what? Let's try putting the other side on. This one clip doesn't want to hold very well. Let's try this side. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, so essentially what you have is you have yourself a little ramp. Actually, you know what? We'll take this off. I just want to show you guys the inner workings here before we actually get into any fun. Um, we've got ourselves little working uh, gates you want that can lift and lower. We've got a little guy working the window. He's got a whistle. His mother apparently had quadruplets because that same guy is on the inside right here. He is on the inside right here. And finally, he's on the inside right here. Ah, there we go. I'm wondering why this wouldn't snap. I'm just snapping into place. Um, and then on the other side, it's essentially the same idea. It is the same idea. Uh, so what we'll do, you just clip this on the place here. I'll show you guys how it works. There's not, <laughs> there's not really much to be said about it. But essentially what you're going to get is get a little, get the bridge going in here. Get the bridge going in here. Clearly Billy's going to have problems when he gets this thing to his friend's house. The idea is this clip, and then this goes in here, there we go. Essentially what you have is you can have a car pulling up, pulling up, the ramps don't give me troubles, but the car is going to pull up, he's going to go into, he's going to go into the little toll booth station, we're going to pull it up here to find out what's going on, you can have the toll booth car go into the toll booth and the guy could say anything to declare and the guy could say the guy will be like no there's nothing to declare and then his wife would be like well, what about the drugs and he'd be like shh, shh don't say anything about the drugs no but we got a whole trunk of it no shh, shh, shh. no 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 i've got nothing to declare nothing to declare he's like are you sure no 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 i'm good i'm good all right then and then he'd open up the gate and the car would go through now granted, if you didn't have another ramp, the poor car would like fall off the cliff and they would plummet to their death. So definitely getting another one of these would make all the, all the difference. And again, when you had two sets, you would connect the two together. And the play sets, you could drive the car from the toll booth into the police station to turn themselves in. Or into the gas station, get some more gas. Very, very cool. The only thing that one, the one thing I don't like about it is the fact this clip doesn't want to sit in very well. Definitely does not want to sit in very well. I had it working fine before, and now, lo and behold, it doesn't want to work. But essentially, that is what you get for a $2 toy. Let me try turning it around. Maybe that would work. No, you know what? It just doesn't want to hold. But I guess if you have it sitting against the something, it doesn't really matter, because it would just keep it up anyways. Or if you had the two play sets together. Clearly, the real sell of this set is not necessarily this, this stupid this stupid base. Um, but it is a very, very cool little toll booth. Complete with stop. Little stop gates. Everything else. And then when you're you're happy with it, 
You can actually take the car, lift the gate, we'll put the car in. And then when you're done, Billy can fold it up and be on his merry little way. So very cool. So, my question to you guys, you fellow uh, YouTube reviewers out there and viewers, is, is this worth a buck? What do you think? Is this something you'd pay two bucks for? Is this a cool little toy that you'd like to take around with you? Or is it a piece of crap? Is it? This isn't the greatest, but this is kind of cool. Is this worth a buck? So comment down below, guys. Let me know, is this worth a buck? And I'll see you guys next time. Later.